Zakala for coming out. Uh, we're going to keep this short and sweet. It's about Palestine, inshallah. It is about the dua. There's no political ag agendas here, just to make that clear. Mashallah, you've all turned out on a fantastic evening. It is cold, but mashallah, well done to you all. Okay, we're going to start off the event with the tilawat of the Quran. So I'm going to invite Hafiz Umar Halalat to come along and recite the Quran. Nare Takbir! Nare Risalah! أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا يستوي أصحاب وأصحاب الجنة أصحاب الجنة هم الفائزون لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم Allah, mashallah, well done. This is local Hafiz Umar Alalat from Masjid e Madni on Raven Zaus Road. Mashallah, well done. Without any delays, guys, we're going to carry on. We've got a few, uh, few speakers. If anybody does want to speak, please do come to the front. Let us know. You're more than welcome to say a few words or even recite whatever you want to recite. I'm going to call my first speaker today, okay, and that's going to be Gary Widder. Gary is a local lad, he is from Dewsbury, he's very passionate about Palestine. This is somebody who is non-Muslim and it does take a lot of respect credit to actually attend. He's actually now going on Instagram, so if people want to follow him, please do. I'm sure he'll like to tell you his Instagram address, uh, but he's got some words to say. This is words that he's actually written. He's passionate about Palestine. You will hear this from his own words. Thank you, guys. Assalamu alaikum. So, I stand here before today as a non Muslim who chose to fast for 10 days in solidarity. You need to stand near there, man. Hello. Yeah. So, I stand before him today as a non Muslim who chose to fast for 10 days in solidarity with our brothers and sisters. Enduring the hardship of Ramadan. I have heard countless stories of individuals taking breaks for the sake of month. And while I understand that Ramadan itself is a challenge, a good friend of mine said to me, We must remember that compared to the struggles facing Palestine, it becomes a small sacrifice. We gather here today not just to show our support, but as a testament to our unyielding belief in justice and humanity. We must continue to come out, attend marches and raise our voices in unity. It's not only a matter of faith, but a test of our own humanity. And unfortunately, it seems a significant portion of the world is failing miserably. But let's 
back of Follow Palestine. Um, my my cause is, is supporting the press over there. And one of the one of the journalists that were killed with Wahil's son uh, was called Mustafa. So I got the privilege of speaking to his wife, and she gave me um, a message to read out to every event that I go to, and she asked me if I'd read it out. It's quite a sad a sad reading, but it, it's the it, you know it's the true face of what's going on. So she wrote, Mustafa was a persistent and ambitious, and dreamed of a bright future and to remain a famous journalist loved by the whole world. He was conveying a message to the world about what's happening in his beloved city of Gaza, but he did not know that his work would unfortunately cost him his life. We are saddened by the loss of my husband and father of my children. My children remained orphans without a father and without a home. He was a blessed husband and a blessed father to my children. He was very affectionate and went and left us alone in this world. I hope my message reaches the world and I will never forgive them for what they did to my beloved husband. Thank you guys, give a round of applause. <laughs> guys, as we know, since October the 7th, okay, there hasn't been a day that we've not heard that the bombing stopped. It's consistent, it's Ramazan at the moment, what they're going through at the moment, only Allah knows best. We only see it on social media. Very recently, somebody shared something that we we obviously do our lavish if that is here. We sit on the nice desert plants, nice tables, but what they were doing there, if that is, you know what they were eating? You know, lemon and grass. You know, how sad what they actually are going through. For the last couple of months, there's been kind of a silence from the local people. It's like Palestine has stopped. Bombing stopped. It hasn't, guys. We need to continue our efforts at every way possible, in any form. We must keep going. We have to share what's happening in Palestine. We cannot stop, okay? It is our moral duty as Muslims. We cannot change what's happening in Palestine overnight. That is no doubt. I know that, you know that, okay? We cannot do anything. We can make dua, we can attend protests, and we can raise our voices. Mashallah, so far we boycotted so many things, haven't we? We boycotted Coca-Cola, they're on their ass. We boycotted Starbucks, they're on their ass. We boycotted McDonald's, losing out millions. I'm talking about a local McDonald's, Heckman White, they're down 50,000 pounds a week in takings. That's thanks to us, our effort. Okay? It's hurting them. Just tonight that there's a massive turnout with just 40 hour, no, 48 hours notice, okay? A few lads, us, we got together, we thought, right, so Ramzan, what should we do? We'll do an event, we'll see how many people turn out, but mashallah, you've shown your numbers again, which means we're all passionate about Palestine. We have to keep going, guys. Whatever we can do, in any shape, way or form, we have to keep doing, okay? Right, I'm gonna invite our next speaker now, and it's gonna be Hanifa Darwin. <laughs> Hanifa's another local activist. She's okay. Okay, change of plan then. Gonna get Rash. Rash Khan, local lad, works for the charities, court. Everybody does know Rashid. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Free, free. Free, free. Free, free. Jazakallah brothers, thank you for coming out. It's a great cause, alhamdulillah. Uh, me and a few brothers, well, 15 of us, inshallah, will be going out to Egypt to support the Palestinians that come out of Gaza. Uh, unfortunately, when they have come out, they have had to forfeit everything they own. So whether that's money, photos, mobile phones, everything, they're literally coming out with just the clothes that they're wearing. 
unfortunately the Egyptians don't really support the Palestinians as, as much as they should do. We're going to be going there, we're going to be providing food packs which are costing £30 per family. We're going to be giving uh, zakat money, also assisting with any sort of medical support we can provide and also doing iftars whilst we're out there inshallah. So if there's any sort of donations, anything that you can uh, support or you'd like to support, get in touch with myself or a few lads that are doing bucket collections. Inshallah, it's a great cause. Let's all work together for a unified cause to support Palestinians, inshallah. Free, free, Palestine! Free, free, Palestine! Free, free, Palestine! This is Rash, local lad. Mashallah, very much involved with court and the activities they do. I don't need to sell court. Everybody knows the work that they're doing. Alhamdulillah, great effort. Allah bless them and uh, the, may they go strength to strength. I'm now going to invite Hanifa Darwin. Hanifa? Okay. Takbir! Takbir! Assalamu alaikum. And thank you everyone for coming at such a short notice. Um, I'm just going to do a little speech that I've written earlier on. Um, in the face of the unspeakable tragedy, that is genocide, we are called upon, not just as people, but as guardians of humanity. We take a stand for peace. The fabric of our goal, global community, is woven with the threads of diverse cultures, religions, and peoples, each as vital as the next. The loss of any one thread weakens the whole, leading to a tapestry frayed by the hands of intolerance and violence. The importance of peace cannot be overstated. Peace is not merely the absence of conflict. It is the presence of justice the assurance of respect and the guarantee of rights for all individuals and that also includes the Palestinians. It is the foundation upon which nations thrive, economies flourish and communities grow. Without peace there is no security, no progress, no future. We must remember that the strength of a nation lies not in its ability to wage war, but in its capacity to foster peace. It is easy to destroy, but it takes courage, wisdom and vision to build. Let us be the architects of a future where dialogue triumphs over destruction, where empathy overcomes anonymity and where our common humanity is the cornerstone of our action. Today we urge the government and all stakeholders to reaffirm their commitment to peace. Let us work together to the end to end the cycle of violence to provide aid to those in need, to bring perpetrators to justice, and to ensure that such atrocities never occur again. Let us pledge to uphold the dignity of every human being, regardless of their race, creed, color, or nationality, and to protect the rights bestowed upon them. In conclusion, let us choose the path of peace for it is the only path that leads to a world where every man, woman and child can live without fear, with hope for tomorrow and with the freedom to pursue their dreams. Thank you very much for coming. Free, free! continue with all our protests, boycotting, keep on talking, keep on sharing, even those pictures that are horrific. I know we don't like looking at them. It upsets us, 
but we must continue to look at them because BBC ain't going to show us the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well said, Lisa. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for your time. I'm now going to pass it on to Councillor Ama Anwar, signed just recently from a so called political party. And mashallah, he's been quite influential since. Boy, so Labour and Conservative. Let's inshallah. give a round of applause Boy, to Ama Anwar. Assalamu alaikum, Reverend So. As you all know, this is my home. I was born in this village. I have lived in this village. I will die in this village, inshallah. Two years ago, you guys put your faith in me and elected me. <laughs> Two years ago, you guys put your faith and trust in me and elected me as your representative. Six months ago, after October the 7th, we all know what's been going on. Through our social medias, through our media outlets. I was contacted by so many people via WhatsApp, via email, asking me to resign. My answer to them was simple. I'm staying in the party and fighting. After six emails to our national leader, Kia Sama, there was no reply. Our local leadership, Lady, a Labour leader in Kirklees, there was no support from her, none at all. There were 17 Muslim councillors, any one of them on the 17th of January could have done what I did, but they never did. May Allah give them a diet, that's all I can say to them. Now I'll tell you two stories from Palestine that really touched me. One was in November. As we all know, dunya means the world. There was a seven-year-old whose house was bombed. She lost her leg in that bombing. When she was interviewed by Al Jazeera the very next day, they asked her, what do you want to do when you grow up? She said, well, first, I want to grow up. And second, I want to be a doctor or a nurse so I can help others. Three days later, the IDF bombed that hospital and they killed Dunya. I myself have a five-year-old daughter. That touched me dearly. The second story, which was recently, where a mother, has it gone off? No. Where a mother spent thousands of pounds on IVF, a Palestinian mother. She had two twins in October. A rocket hit their house recently. Many of you that follow me on social media, you must have seen it, I've shared it. She lost both her twins in that rocket attack. So these are some of the atrocities our Muslim Christians are facing in the Holy Land of Palestine. There was no Israel 76 years ago. It was the Holy Land of Palestine where the Muslim and the Jewish and the Christian community all live together. Now, the mainstream parties support a two-state solution. I don't. I will never support that. I am supporting a one-state solution, the land of Palestine. One democratic elected government. That is my view. Inshallah, I will be contesting for the Butler and Dewsbury parliamentary seat. I want all of your support on my side. When I go into parliament, hand in hand with George Galloway, this will be my opening statement, people of Raven so I am gonna be your strongest voice in that house. If I can rock the chambers in Kirklees, I'm sure I can rock the parliament. Coming back to this May's local elections, we've got an independent movement that was started well before I resigned. So I want to clarify, it. I did not start that movement. It was started day after the 7th of October. There were certain people, certain candidates that are here, they started that movement. 
it's their movement, I'm supporting their movement all the way. On the May of the 2nd, send a message to the Conservative Party, send a message to the Labour Party, they can no longer bank on the Muslim vote. They've used us, they've used us for many, many years. Three million lives in Iraq and Afghanistan, and now the Palestinian people. Today is the Palestinian people, tomorrow it will be the Kashmir people. We all belong to Kashmir, yeah, majority of us do. So when they're going to Kashmir, are you still going to continue voting Labour? Wake up, guys, wake up, wake up. If this year you do not wake up, I'm afraid to say you will not wake up on the Day of Judgment. And on that note, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Thank you very much, Raymond Soap. Thank you, Councillor Manwa. Very heart touching. Solicitor by profession, also people know him in the boxing world as well. And I introduce Zahid Kahoot. Assalamualaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, I'm going to say a few words and a few important words. But before I say them, there's going to be 10 seconds of silence. That might not even be in 10 seconds. The silence is unbearable. When you have elected representatives that are meant to express your sentiments, be your voice and fight your causes, whether it be a plot or whether it be to speak about, up about what's going on in Palestine, if there's silence, it's deadly. It's, it's a letdown, it's a failure. There's been too much silence by too many people in positions of power and responsibility. We've all seen these images. I don't need to tell you about stories of how people have suffered and how people have been massacred and about the genocide that's going on on a day-to-day -day basis in Palestine. You've all seen those. You've all seen those images. But you've got to ask yourself, what are we going to do about it? And what can you do about it? We go out, we protest. We've gone out and we protest before. We've done marches before. 10 years before, 15 years before. And then what happens? After the violence calms down, Israel goes back to doing what it's done before. More illegal settlements, more violence. And again, we start boycotting. But this is the final push. They've pushed all of the Palestinians into Gaza. Then they've told them there's a safe zone in Rafa. This is the final push. They're not playing. They're playing for keeps now. And our politicians, our world leaders have been silent. And it's a failure on their part. When you vote for someone, you vote for them to stand up and speak up on your behalf. Whether it's the Labour Party or the Conservative Party, they are both wings of the same bird. We need a new alternative. We need somebody we need strong voices, whether it's in the local council or in parliament. You'll hear local councillors saying to you, oh, you know, um, it's, it's terrible what's happening in the world, but I can only help you with your potholes. It's terrible what's going on in That's the world. Lie. That's yeah. lie. Don't listen to them, it's a lie. If they, they are able to speak up in the council, they're able to bring a motion. If they have the guts, they're able to do that. And when they do that, it sends a ripple back up to the MP. And then when the MP hears that, that sends a ripple back up into Parliament. At the moment, it's like a car idling on 2,000 revs. No bother. You know, there's no pressure on the councillors. There's no pressure on the MPs. And there's no pressure on Parliament. We, we've got a red line. We've got a red line, this engine, by going out and protesting and showing them that your vote counts. You need to go out and you need to make your vote count. Vote for Hanifa, vote for Tunisia, vote for Aline Ekman White, vote for me in Batley West, vote for Aziz Bai in Batley East. 
Don't think that this is going to be a wasted vote. They're going to come and whisper in your ear, or oh, don't vote for them. They're independent, they've got no power. They're going to they're gonna let the Tories in and we want the Tories out. Don't listen to them, they're lies. We're not dividing the vote, we're uniting the vote to give this boom system a spanking that it deserves. From the river to the sea, it's not an impossible dream. One day, inshallah, we will have a Palestine that's free and politicians that speak up for us and at our voices and fight for our causes. So, from the river to the sea, they're trying to bring legislation to stop us chanting this. They're trying to define what's Zionism, what's Islamophobia, what's anti-Zionism. They're going to make it illegal for you to express words of dissent against Zionists. So we need people who are not afraid to stand up. People who are going to speak the truth, speak up. People who are going to spy for, spy for the legislation to reflect what our needs are. From the river to the sea is not a call for arms. It's not a call for violence. It's a call for freedom from the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. <coughs> what that means is what it says on the tin. We want freedom for Palestine. From the river to the sea, we want them to live side by side, alongside Jews, alongside Christians, like they did for centuries before. It's only the current people with the power and control, and it's a number of nations that are controlling the dialogue, that are controlling the media, that are making it look like this chant from the river to the sea is some call of call in support for Hamas or for, for in support for terrorism. Terrorism is anyone who seeks to control economic and political power through violence and through indiscriminate killing of innocents. That's terrorism. Regardless of your faith, regardless of your religion, and regardless of who your friends are, if you're committing that, whether you're a Muslim or whether you're a Zionist, that's terrorism. In Palestine, people should live in peace side by side. Only the terrorists need to be behind high walls and behind barbed wire and behind turnstiles. That's where they belong. And the International Council in South Africa, they've set the definition, they've had a trial, they've looked at what the definition is and who the guilty parties are. They need to be brought to justice. These are war crimes. What can we do? We can go out and vote. We can speak up. If you see injustice, if you can stand up and fight for it, you should. If you can't, you should speak up. And if you can't even do that, you have a strong resentment in your heart. You've all come out here today because you're passionate. You've all come out here today. You've taken action. The next action we can do is on 2nd of May, we can vote independent. We can all make a difference. You, 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 you all count together. Five fingers, one finger alone. You can break it and bend it. When I clench that fist, it becomes strong. And we all here together, not just the Muslims. When you go to a march in London, you go to a march in Leeds, you'll be, be, see people from all backgrounds. This isn't a Muslim issue, it's a humanitarian issue. So inshallah, let's pray for peace in Palestine. Let's pray for politicians who, do, who stand up for us and our causes. And unless I've forgotten anything, that's the end. Zakhla, so. May the second, Tanisha Bromwell, guys, give me up for that. because I wasn't supposed to be speaking tonight um, because I don't want to stand here as a political face at all that's not why I'm here I'm not here for any political stance whatsoever I'm here because I'm, I'm non-Muslim when I turn my TV on every single night and I see the atrocities taking place I can't sleep 
my mother can't sleep. October 7th was not the first time Palestine has been attacked. This has gone on for over 75 years. And one thing that I can see in the crowd tonight is young people, the youth. And every single one of you right now has the capacity and the ability to raise awareness with your mobile phones. That's something that we didn't have 70 years ago. Every single one of you has a platform and we need to be utilising them platforms. We need to be making sure that we're raising awareness and continue talking about these atrocities. We cannot stay quiet. We are in March. The October 7th attacks happened months ago, over 150 days of torment. And it's not the first time. And if this continues, it won't be the last. So keep raising your voices and keep having conversations. And well done for being here. So give yourselves a round of applause. I'm a massive fan of, okay? I always bring him up in every speech of mine, whenever I talk. And that's Imran Khan, okay? Sadly, the Zionist regime, whatever you call it, between all countries have this plan. They locked him away. This one man who was going to speak up for everybody, for our Muslim nations around the world, is sadly locked away. Tonight, we have to make dua for that guy as well. That please, may Allah, have mercy on the people in Pakistan and let's get Imran Khan released, the man who can speak up for us and the only man that will speak up for us because the rest of the world, the Saudi leaders, Turkish Erdogan, you know, they're all flat silence at the moment. But in between, as Zaid said, it's each and every one our duties. We have to keep raising our voices, okay? We've all got a voice. We cannot be silenced, guys, okay? Keep going. Jazakallah all for attending. Finally, the Imam Saab, Hafiz Saab, if he's about, can you please come to the front? I've got the dua. MashaAllah. Takbir. Takbir. Daray Risalat. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Prophet Ali Salatu was salam, he mentioned that nearer to the Qiyamah, there will be an army and the army will march towards Mecca. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will send earthquake and whole, all of that army will be shrunk into the ground. They'll be swallowed by the ground. And Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she says, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in that or with them, there will be some traders. There will be some innocent people. What about them? The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, they will be judged with who they are. The point I want to make is, your vote matters. Your vote <laughs> matters. If you vote for that person who advocates oppression, who advocates genocide, who advocates violence towards innocence, then you will be responsible. You will be asked about it and you will be responsible for it. So know that your vote matters. And for that to happen, I have been told that one of the first thing you need to do is you need to register. You need to register for vote. Number two, don't be fooled by your elders. They may have red running through them or blue, but what you need to see and what you need to stand up is for truth and for justice. No man, no woman can look at these pictures and say that this is justified. No one can say that. As a Muslim, whether it happens to Muslims, on non-Muslims, we should and we must stand up for truth. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help the people of Palestine. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to reform ourselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran that Allah does not change people. Inna Allah la yughayyiru ma bi qawmin hatta yughayyiru ma bi anfusihim. That he does not change people until the people change themselves. 
So we need to change ourselves as well. We need to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to seek forgiveness. We need to turn and we need to obey Allah His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then whichever dua that you make, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept that. Amen. Whichever step that, step that you take, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you success. Amen. So we need to make dua that we first change ourselves. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad wa ala ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad wa barik wa sallim. Allahumma rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta al-samiyu al-alim. Wa tuba alayna ya Mawlana innaka anta al-tawabu al-rahim. Allahumma rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa qina adhab al-nar. Wa qina adhab al-qabri wa qina adhab al-hashri wa qina adhab al-faqri wa qina adhab al-mardi wa qina hisab al-mizan. Allahumma ansur ahla ghazza wa falastin. اللهم انصر اهل غزه وفلسطين اللهم انصر اهل غزه وفلسطين اللهم انصر ضعفهم اللهم انصر ضعفهم اللهم ثبت اقدامهم يا الله يا رحمن يا رحيم او ذا ون هو اكسبت ذا دواز يا الله اكسبت ذا دواز ان ريجاردز تو ذا بيبل اوف غزا ان ريجاردز تو ذا بيبل اوف فلسطين يا الله فريد فريدم فروم اوبريشن يا الله بروتكت ذيم فروم فايلنس يا الله جيف ذيم Himma, give them determination, give them steadfastness. Ya Allah, remove all of their calamities. Ya Allah, remove all of their difficulties. Ya Allah, turn their difficulties, their sorrows uh, to easiness. Ya Allah, turn their sorrows into joy. Ya Allah, turn their sorrows and grief into contentment and satisfaction. Ya Allah, give us the tawfiq and the opportunity to help them. Ya Allah, give us Tawfiq to change ourselves so that we can make dua for them and we can make things for better insha'Allah ta'ala. Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Tujhe fazl karte nahi lagti hai baar. Nahu tusse maayus umidwaar. Wa ufawidu amri ila Allah. Inna Allah basirun bil ibad. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khairi khalqihi wa nuri arshi. Sayyidina wa maulana Muhammadin wa alihi wa sahabi ajma'in. Bi rahmatika ya Rahman. Free, free, Palestine! Free, free, Palestine! Boycott Labour and Conservative! They put 25 complaints. Please run me for the conclusion. Now, the other. तकरीबन सारी विच थोड़े थोड़े फ्लिप ने बगरे बगरे